When you think about Ozan Barish, he's played in, I want to say, every continent except for Antarctica. He's played on the biggest stage. He's played in every Grand Slam. He's won a Grand Slam, which not many college tennis players can say they've done. I liked both basketball and tennis, and I just felt like tennis clicked a little more for me. And my sister was also playing tennis as well. It was a sport that both of them can do. A girl and a boy, they don't have to be on different teams. They can be playing it at the same time. So it was very attractive for me, being a single mom, being able to arrange it. I remember my mom telling me this little story where I was eight years old. I think I'd played in my it was either my first or second tournament and the match is like an hour and a half. And for some reason she was like, oh man, like he's good. He's, a, he's actually able to last that long. In my head I was like, oh man, I'm getting destroyed. But I, I didn't mind at the time, I was just having fun playing. Once I was about nine years old, I think I got up to number one in the Midwest, winning some big tournaments. I was like, oh, okay, maybe I'm you know, I'm pretty good at this. And the best part was I was just enjoying myself playing. I wanted to keep improving and see how far I could take it. For the first couple of years, I would say two or three out of every weekend, we were traveling somewhere. It was a lot of fun just to be spending that time together. But on top of it, seeing the growth and the resilience and the development in both of them, I think those were the best parts of all of that. There's four Grand Slams, Australian Open, French Open, Wimbledon, and US Open. They're the biggest tournaments of the year. 128 players get in. It has the biggest prize money, and it's just the most prestigious events. I played in all the Grand Slams for the juniors, like 18 and unders, twice. So that was a lot of fun. Being with the pros where they're playing, it's really unique because you just get to see how they do it. You get to see it up close and personal. It really motivated me to keep going. That's where I want to be. That's the highest level of tennis. Game, set, match. At the US Open last year, we won doubles, which was just awesome. Like being able to play on maybe a Saturday or something where like the men are playing the semifinals, the women are playing the semifinals. It was just cool to still be there and actually win the tournament. Your 2022 US Open boys doubles champions Ozan Barris and Nishes Basso are ready. Tennis is a very difficult sport in the sense that everything depends on how you are that day and also everything depends on how your opponent is that day, which you have no control over. So anything can happen. For him to be able to achieve that at the end of his junior career, I think it was the best award he could have got after all those years of sacrifices. One day you can feel confident, the next day not so much. And it just changes throughout the year as well. When you're winning, it's a lot easier to be confident. When you're losing, it takes a little more from you. But I think that confidence just comes from an inner belief that you're doing the right stuff and I, like I am where I'm supposed to be. I've earned where I am now, and I know I have a lot more to accomplish as well. From a young age, Ozan's always had that mentality that he wants to be a professional tennis player. And so it was always, well, how do I get there? There's always going to be more that's asked from you as you kind of tick the boxes. And every time more has been asked, he's willingly accepted it and asked, then what's next? Everything is elevated in college. It's like, Everything is a lot more electric, and I really love it, honestly. Just having the fans be so involved, you can get loud. You don't have to be proper, you don't have to act a certain way. You can just be whoever you want to be out there, and it's loud, it's fun, it's intense. With college tennis, you're competing for all of your teammates, all your brothers, and yeah, I love that, honestly. Like, it's something bigger than myself. It's, it's for my teammates, it's for the college. It's big. It's pretty awesome that I'm able to play so many pro tournaments even during my college career. Every time I go out there, it just shows me what it's like to compete at that level, what I need to do, so then I can bring it back to MSU and 
keep working on those things. It's, it's exposed at the higher levels, you know, the weaknesses, what I need to work on. So it's just, it's a unique opportunity to have that. <laughs> Let's go, man. I'm really happy for him because he's happy here. They say it takes a village to raise a child. It definitely takes a village and more to raise a student athlete. We have been very lucky with the, with the support we had, but Coach Harry and Coach Mike and Coach Orlando, all three of them have been quite instrumental in who he is, what he aspires to be, and it's more than tennis, it's family. And they have his back. And to me, I cannot ask for more. You can make every point as tough as possible on him. Find your forehand, swing at your forehand, right? Let's go, man, great job. Love the confidence, you're exuding. Love it. I, I want to do things differently than they have been done in the past, and I want to move this sport into an area that I think it would be really cool if people talked about tennis the same way that they talk about basketball and football. And, you know, I, I see myself having a personality where I think that's possible. I don't really know if I completely agree with all the traditions and everything of tennis. You know, I respect them, of course. Tennis is a rich history. But I think, you know, moving forward, it's gonna, it, it has to become something electric, something that everyone wants to watch. And I'm really curious to see how that happens. And if I can be a part of that, then you know, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah! Come on! Let's go!